So we all know that the new Mac Mini is probably one of the best ultra compact PCs that you can get right now. The M4 chip is capable enough to really handle any kind of task that you can throw at it and the connectivity options are adequate where you can set up almost any type of desktop experience with multiple monitors. I've set up my Mac Mini with a triple quad HD monitor setup but first let's talk about how you can configure both the standard M4 Mac Mini and the M4 Pro version of the Mac Mini in terms of display configurations. First let's talk about the display connectivity options on the standard M4 chip. Now you can have basically three displays Two of them can be up to 6K resolution at 60 Hertz, and one of them can be 5K at 60 Hertz using the Thunderbolt 4 interface. You can also use the HDMI connection, which is limited to 4K at 60 Hertz refresh rate or 1080p at 240 Hertz. Now, if you're interested in a dual monitor setup, you can have one 5K monitor at 60 Hertz and one 8K monitor at 60 Hertz. You can also adapt the USB-C interface to work with a DisplayPort 1.4 certified monitor. Now, if you get the Mac Mini powered by the M4 Pro chip, now you get upgraded to Thunderbolt 5, which has 120 gigabits a second throughput instead of 40 on the Thunderbolt 4 side. So that means you can configure a 6K 60 Hertz triple monitor setup setup with no additional adapters just straight through the Mac mini or if you want to hook up uh, dual monitor setups one can be 6k resolution at 60 hertz and the other one could be 8k resolution at 60 hertz or if you don't care about 8k and want to get higher refresh rate you can substitute that for a 4k monitor at 240 hertz either through thunderbolt or the hdmi interface in terms of adapting you can use the usb-c and adapt to monitors compliant with displayport 2.1 now my setup is actually pretty simple i have three dell ultra sharp monitors with a native resolution of 2560 by 1440 each at 60 hertz refresh rate they're displayport and hdmi compliant which is not that big of a deal if we don't have thunderbolt since you can easily adapt displayport to usb type C, either through adapters or cable in a very affordable way. So the way I'm going to be connecting everything is I'm going to use one monitor with a display port to USB-C cable. One monitor is just going to be connected through HDMI. And the third monitor we're going to connect using a Thunderbolt dock from Belkin. This dock has two display port outputs so that's going to be easy connecting it to our third monitor via display port and also gives us the benefit of having a couple of usb type a and extra usb c in addition to having another headphone jack as well as gigabit ethernet always nice to have extra connectivity options especially the usb type a since the mac mini does not have that connection apart from that in terms of peripherals i'm going to be using my trusty mx keys keyboard as well as Master 3S mouse from Logitech, which I think both from a performance and ergonomic standpoint is much superior than the Apple peripherals. Now at this point, I really don't think I need to mention the benefits of having a triple monitor display. Obviously everyone knows it's awesome for productivity, especially for people that need to access a lot of data on screen at the same time. But I think Mac OS X has really matured quite a bit in terms of multi-window support. Now you can easily drag the windows either left and right to do split view. You can drag it to the corners for a four-way quadrant view. On top of that, each monitor can have its own separate desktop so you can have multiple workspaces on each monitor to have an infinite combination of use case scenarios. I've been using a triple monitor display for almost a decade now and especially for tasks like video editing it's pretty much mandatory where you can have one monitor dedicated for all your clips, one monitor for your timeline effects and one program monitor. Obviously if you're uh, wanting to view things in 4k you can have that but for me personally I think 27 inches quad HD is definitely the sweet spot if you want to maximize screen resolution and scaling, desktop real estate clarity, as well as uh, relieve eye strain. If you have 32 inches 4K resolution, that's not bad, but I think that's probably not going to be the best for my eyes long term. So 27 inches Quad HD is definitely a sweet spot for me if you're running three monitors. Now, the only real limitation I've encountered thus far is if you like to game with a triple monitor configuration where you want to span the entire resolution of each monitor to one giant virtual monitor, you can't do so natively on Mac OS. Unlike what you can do in Windows with NVIDIA Surround and AMD Affinity, is create that giant monitor to game with triple monitors seamlessly. That's not an option on Mac OS. You do have to pretty much game with one monitor at a time. 
but there might be some developers or some third-party application that will add those spanning features to perhaps metal or something like that, but one limitation nonetheless. Now, you can watch ultra-wide videos if you kind of zoom into the video and uh, turn off uh, some of the workspace options for each separate monitor. You can view uh, one giant kind of ultra-wide video with all three monitors displaying it continuously. So that is an option, but gaming, still not the case. But really on that, guys, that's really it. I'm going to be really excited to use this Mac Mini on a daily basis. I think it's definitely suitable enough to replace like a $1,000 or even $1,500 PC. And if you get the Mac Mini M4 Pro, it's certainly a very, very capable device. And uh, with great connectivity options, it's usable enough to really hook up any kind of third-party accessories with little to no limitations. But if you haven't done so already, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you're interested in Mac Mini gaming with the M4 and M4 Pro chip, we actually have a dedicated video for that on the channel. We'll have that in the description down below. In the meantime, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon in the next one. Take care.